During her opening night performance at Estadio Olimpico, Nilton Santos in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, on Friday night, Taylor Swift was photographed throwing a water bottle to a devoted fan in the stifling heat. Taylor took the bottle from a helpful stagehand during her rendition of All Too Well, walked to the middle of the stage and threw it into the audience. Taylor, throwing a water bottle to a fan who needs help while singing All Too Well Hash Riots the Eras Tour, is the description for the widely shared fan video of the event. A few hours later, local sources confirmed that 23-year-old Anna Benavides, a concert-goer, had passed away at the show after passing out from the intense heat in the stadium, which reached temperatures above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Swift released a statement expressing her sorrow over Benavides' passing and her sympathies to the young girl's family after learning of the tragedy while performing. Estela Benavides, Benavides' cousin, and Brazilian media both claim that Benavides suffered from a heart attack. The little fan was not able to be revived despite the efforts of the on-site doctors. She was brought to the Salgado Filo Municipal Hospital, but she passed away quickly. We lost a fan earlier tonight before my event, and I say this with a broken heart. I can't believe I'm writing this. After the show, Swift posted a message on Instagram saying, I can't even tell you how devastated I am by this. She said, I don't know much about her, other than the fact that she was extremely young and beautiful. When I even try to talk about this, I get so overcome with grief that I won't be able to do it from the stage. I want to express that I am truly saddened by her passing and that her family and friends are in my thoughts and prayers. When we made the decision to open the store in Brazil, I never imagined anything like this would occur. The hitmaker expressed her gratitude to the city and her Brazilian fans during the performance, saying that they were honoured to have the famous Christ, the Redeemer statue lit up in her honour. A Welcome to Brazil projection atop the monument showcased a T-shirt design inspired by Taylor's Junior Jules shirt from her You Belong With Me music video. To the applauding throng, Taylor began, I just want to start by saying that I feel completely unworthy of this honour, but it is sort of the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. The illumination was the outcome of a fan effort and fundraising push, with funding provided by the Christ the Redeemer Sanctuary. Taylor went on, And the reason I say that is because I've heard that a big part of the reason this was possible was because so many of you donated food and water, and that makes me so very proud. I'm very happy for you, she continued. We appreciate everything you do, especially coming out to us tonight and being so kind to us. This week, Swift will make her stage debut in front of tens of thousands of fans at three gigs in Rio. She will then play three more shows the following weekend in Sao Paulo. Before travelling to Sao Paulo, she will be performing three times this weekend at the Estadio Olimpico Nilton Santos in Rio de Janeiro. Latin American fans have been taking advantage of the relatively low cost of tickets to see the live performance of the Shake It Off singer. Vivid Seats was selling concert tickets in Brazil for just $1.91, while resale sites in the U.S. were charging over $1,600 for tickets. Starting off the South American leg of the era's tour in Argentina, equal sign best decision possible, said Taylor on Instagram on Monday. I cannot even begin to convey my gratitude to the crowds in Buenos Aires. Having never visited Argentina before, they left us with the most incredible enchanted recollections. Her devoted fan following noticed that Swift used the word electric, and many interpret it as a reference to her boyfriend Travis, whose mother Donna was seen on Sunday attending a movie theatre in Florida to see Swift's movie, The Era's Tour. Attending her Saturday night show, Kelsey frequently describes an enjoyable experience as electric. He used it most recently to discuss his Saturday night live appearance with Swift. On his New Heights podcast, Kelsey claimed, 
I blacked out so I don't even remember what I said. It felt incredible to be back there. Something about starting the season with their first episode and being back in that room just seems right. Travis said, I just thought it was awesome that everybody in the suite had nothing but great things to say about her while discussing Taylor's first visit to Arrowhead Stadium to watch him play for the Chiefs. For Chiefs supporters, the day was ideal, and she looked stunning. Everything about it was electric. Swift just returned from her gigs in Argentina, where she was accompanied by her new partner, tight end Travis of the Kansas City Chiefs, when she arrived in Brazil. Since announcing their connection to the world, Swift and the athlete have generated quite a stir on social media, especially in light of new footage showing Swift sprinting up to kiss the athlete after her Saturday gig in Buenos Aires. Swift's decision to add a reference to her new partner in the lyrics of her hit song Karma caused the clip to become even more viral. Taylor substituted the original line, Karma is the guy on the Chiefs coming straight home to me, with Karma is the guy on the screen coming straight home to me when surrounded by her backup dancers on stage at the Estadio River Plate Stadium. The superstar athlete was seen clapping his palms to the side of his face in sheer surprise in a viral video that captured the lovely moment Travis heard the great improvisation. After that, he proceeded to perform some elegant dancing steps. Taylor was thinking about Travis more than just the lyric alteration. Throughout her rendition of Willow, she mouthed the line, That's my man, and sung to him directly. Two months after suspicions started to circulate, the couple eventually made their relationship public when the 13-time Grammy winner was seen supporting Kelsey during his game at Arrowhead Stadium. They announced their relationship to the world during his football game on September 24th and have since been photographed together on a number of occasions. While Taylor was trying to hold it together, an insider close to Lively's celebrity friend claimed that it was clear to everyone around her that she was already falling hard for her new partner. Right now, Travis is everything to Taylor and her family. She is completely amazed. They discussed how she is attempting to maintain her composure while clearly falling in love with him and that he feels the same way. He was courting her and it wasn't the usual hey, you're hot, let's go out type of approach. She feels like the luckiest person alive at the moment because he genuinely courted her. It's not a coincidence that she only needed to venture outside of Hollywood. It is believed that Taylor will take a Thanksgiving flight back to the United States before traveling to Brazil for the Sao Paulo gigs on November 24th. She will travel to Tokyo and Singapore from Sao Paulo before starting the European leg of the Eras tour.